The law particularly says that you cannot divulge any information with respect to the mining right to any other person. Mining rights and all other things that are signed are so confidential that no other person can have access to them. Oh, we have built community centers, we have built... As we go along the public road, you see some of our... Uh, the, for some of the projects, there are some too. In fact, if you are to visit all the projects, we are not going to finish today because there are, there are so yeah. many. Yeah. The but main aim of having to do this is that, you know, the truth is that you can't really get it the way it was before you started. But then the idea is getting it near the way it was. So you look at it and you see that um, mining has done well as compared to, let's say, you look at this area, you see that there's a bit of a difference because this place has not been touched. And you look at this place, it's a bit of a difference. But then the idea is, after we've given it back to the community, the community will decide. Maybe want to use it for oil palm plantation, want to use it for teak plantation, want to use it for rubber plantation. Our system is such that every family has a family land of sorts, you understand? And every house has it where you have a space in front of your house. Like I said, you take a thing like this, you can even put it in front of your house and then you're in business. For a uh, culture like this too, I believe that you don't need much space. Yes, so that is the essence of it. It's not just that what they also do is that they teach people in other sustainable activities like tie and dye or batik making the vocational yes the vocational aspects of it how to make soaps and those kind of things so it is something that doesn't de demand so much space even for you to engage in the activities that they, they teach yeah so people have no complaints regarding space for the activities. We have pollution of water within the community areas. They are polluted. The water cannot be used for anything. They are dead. All the fishes in them cannot live. So we have situations like this uh, within the mining area. When there is no water, you inform us that there is no water. And then we find out why there is no water. Yes, yes. And it is our duty also to make sure water flows. Yes, so I'm asking them, how come that you have no water and you sit in all the difficulty you have to walk to that distance to go and get one. Why else you could have informed that easily to find out the causes of that? I think that's the part that is really sad. I wonder why. The part that made them in the morning. We can do more, so there's a word you need to. The people who have been deprived of their land need to live. So let's go to see how the people use the galamse despite the fact that it is illegal in order to look after themselves
over 70 percent of the land is now uh, been been taken over by the mining companies now how are the people going to live and make a living for sustenance when their lands have been taken over they can no longer do farming they can no longer go in for hunting they can no longer do charcoal burning they can no longer engage in basic activities for sustenance but they have to live the truth of the matter is that mining activity requires skilled labor but the people who live in the communities are unskilled so most of the times those who are employed come outside the mining communities So the only thing that is left for them to do is to engage in the galamse. We, we, we are galamse, you know galamse, yeah, like a small scale mine, yeah. So we start with a uh, shovel, so we dig and we go down and get the gravels. When you get it, we will bring it up, yeah. And then we started like the way we are doing it here. We we ourselves we call it bashing, bashing. So uh, you take the sun, and then you wash, and the good pass through the the sacks we call that 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 one laying on the on the spot we call it sacks the sacks touch the gold and then we we take it up we take it to a uh, market and we sell it yeah, first of all you wash it like the way we were washing it here uh -huh. so when you finish you use you will take the sacks uh, uh, from the uh, board and you make it like this then you move the sand and the gold from the sack so it will drop like yeah. this it's removing it, the gold from the tar so the gold will go down it will make like sand and go down <laughs> you see it? You see the gold? This is gold. This is too small. It's the size. <laughs> This one, this why we are doing is an illegal. Hmm. So we don't get any permission from Angola. So they are they are telling us to leave this place. As they have given us one month to leave, so they don't. But so this time they don't want to, they don't disturb us until one month time. As for one month time, they will come, they will come here with military men and then the police. If you don't run away, they will catch you. But one thing is, we have land, big land like this, to come and mine with this land and we don't make any employment at the same time you don't give us any land to work on it we can we are farmers we are galamse people but once we are farmers yeah we weed we plant some uh, cassava and this and then we gain income from it but they don't give us any land so right now we don't have any land we can work on it and we are doing galamse at the same time we say you should not uh, allow us to do the galamse 
So we don't we don't need any place to go again. But it's like we have we have talked a lot about that, but they don't mind us. We say many things about that, but these people are very hard. We don't know what we have done to them. We go there, we talk to them. They will say yes. When we get we get, we get back, they will not take it. They will make it anything. Ghana here, we get more. We get so many things: gold, we get bauxite, we get manganese, we get uh, uh, diamond, we get um, timber. We get a lot of things in this country, but you see, we don't, go yes. we don't make anything here. So you enjoy it in your country. Our problem is the mining people. The mining people. When we we were staying in the old uh, town, we have some place called Old Town. When we were staying there, the mining was not here. The mines was not here. So we drink a correct, a clean water. That's no chemicals because, because so the mine, mine, the mines was not here. So we were drinking a clean water. But right now, we don't have that water, that clean water. Yeah. When you move from here and you go to another town, there's chemicals there. Yes, chemicals all this place. Yeah, that is the problem. They sometimes take some machines and test the water. They see it, but they don't tell us. They know that there's chemicals in the water, but they will not tell you. Because when they tell you, you are going to take them to uh, court. Yeah. Because they have destroyed the water. And they don't get any water anymore. Women and boys, they're working here. Uh, so the woman make the diamond and the boys make the good. Dollars, you don't pay, dollars. Hey, I'm in Swasa. But we are here. I said, first thing you may me you poor, and you and such as I said, I'm going to I'm going to be a cocoa, I'm going to be a cocoa, Minimumuse, <laughs> Okay, but you man, you man, I can't lie to you. Yeah, yeah. You man, because you man, you can't even go near you man. No. They have no land. So they have to brave it and go on to the land that the mining companies have taken from them. They are arrested, they are tortured, 
sometimes they, they use the police and the armed forces on them in order to prevent them from further engaging in Galamse. But I need to stress that as much as Galamse is equally not good since it destroyed the land, we cannot overlook the fact that the people who have been deprived of their land need to live. <laughs> okay. We are on our way to visit uh, some communities within the Brim North district of the Eastern region. Newmont is having its second mine at, within those uh, region and these communities are likely to be affected. The community people currently are talking over negotiations of their crops and then the lands with the company and there are a lot of conflicts over the compensation and what the determinant factors are. I am me. And champion for me pop, move a blast and be pointing so and food throw and so number seven and Rianni a commerce for a better day. We of the Center for Labor Rights and Community Service collaborate with the WACAM to organize workshops first in the communities where these mining uh, operations take place and Secondly, in communities that are yet to uh, have the mining companies starting their operations. Now, our main aim for organizing the workshop is to sensitize the communities of some of their rights under the Minerals and Mining Law 2006 Act. 703. We make it quite plain to the farmers that these are their own property and the constitution guarantees that they must have these properties and if the government or any other person desires to acquire the land compulsorily then they must pay adequate compensation. <laughs> <laughs> 